Hi everyone, my name is Taylor St. Germain. I'm a forecasting analyst with Tech Insights and welcome to our Power of the Chip series. This is a series where we'll be discussing hot topics and key trends within the semiconductor industry. My specialty at Tech Insights is understanding, evaluating, and forecasting the semiconductor supply chain. So that's where I'd like to focus here today. Now, as many of you know, 2020, 2021, and even the first half of 2022 was a time where the semiconductor industry experienced heightened demand and several supply chain challenges. And that resulted in shortages of equipment, of chips, of materials in several of the key semiconductor verticals. However, now we're starting to see some of these trends evolve and some inflection points occur. And that's what I'd like to discuss today is the evolution of some of these trends and inflection points and what that means for the future. The very first chart I'd like to share with you comes from our manufacturing analysis team. And what this chart is looking at, it's, it's really a heat map that's evaluating the supply demand relationship of several of the semiconductor key verticals. Now you can see on this chart that the heat map is evaluating whether the vertical is in a shortage, tight, balanced, loose, saturated, or in a glut. And again, if you look back to 2020, 2021, and the first half of 2022, you can see a lot of tight uh, shortage categories. You can also see some balanced categories. But if you look at the bottom half of the chart and what's evolved in the recent data, you can see several of these markets have transitioned to being loose, saturated, or in a glut. Memory is a key market to discuss, especially as it's been highlighting the media as of late. You can see memory was one of the first markets to transition to a glut and stay in a sustainable glut for several weeks. And there's a lot of challenges with inventories currently. Of course, organizations were building inventory levels to take on the heightened demand and be able to get product to their customers. Um, as a result of the waning demand that we've seen recently, we've now seen the excess inventory situation take hold in several of these markets, and you can see that by that glut and saturated categories. Now, automotive is still very tight. Um, the automotive uh, folks out there definitely have seen tight conditions aren't getting that same preferential treatment from the foundries as the foundries have really been focusing on the leading edge as of, as of late, rather than focusing on some of the low volume legacy automotive chips. And so as a result, you're still seeing a tight situation in the automotive market. And so the question is, okay, what do these trends mean for the overall sales trends of these key verticals? I think this next chart will highlight that for you. If you look at this chart, this is the 13 week moving average of several uh, weekly sales figures for the key semiconductor verticals. And the first trend, first two trends that I'd like you to notice is the DRAM and NAND trends. Again, if we think back to the memory trends in the previous chart, we saw those GLUT categories for several of the most recent weeks over the last quarter. And as you can see, the sales moving averages that we're looking at are below the zero line for DRAM and NAND. So that glut is clearly translating over to downside pressure on sales. Now we're seeing downside pressure on several of the other key verticals in this chart, but they're still in that positive territory. And again, if I highlight automotive for you, you can see automotive is still very elevated and that's likely because of that tight situation in terms of that supply demand relationship. Now, as we look out to 2023, we do expect this downside pressure on these sales trends to continue. Our overall expectation is that we do see some mild negativity for the year on a balance uh, for, for overall semiconductors. And so expect continued downside pressure, especially as we look out over these next few quarters. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this or understanding more about our reverse engineering analysis or the several other aspects of market analysis that we're constantly updating and forecasting and doing research on, please head over to our platform, our website, techinsights.com. We have a lot of great material there for you to stay up to date with current trends. So thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Taylor St. Germain, forecasting analyst with Tech Insights, and I'll see you on the next one.